Honestly, I line up well. They have no lane Blue support at all. Like, pick. the safe lane will be pretty vulnerable. Do they need lane support? They're just going to run at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they will run at you, but if OG can weather the storm, then the safe lane is going to have huge problems. But that's also why they pick Faces Void, because safe, uh, Faces Void can definitely sustain Reserve itself on the time. safe lane. Do you think that how, that's how it's going to be, Andy, for MVP? Yeah. It's, it's just that kind of burst and also momentum shifting hero that MVP can bring into the fights. What do you actually think about the overall draft? There's very few teams that come out and uh, run a full five melee lineup. Issue not to mention the last pick, Timbersaw. I think this is kind of an ideal uh, Timbersaw game. Maybe not as many strength. The hitters, contest but five for melee. the top rune. The iron shells are already up. MVP's going to go in. Dubu, heavy is. damage early on, but the double iron shells burning down fly. The first one drops to the SP. A one for one trade off. But really, MVP, have you bitten off more than you can chew? Femi has to make a run for this. As the bounty hunter, he can't go in for this for another five seconds, but he'll bail out. As the draft panel mentioned, like they don't have a good zoning support at all. Spirit Breaker's okay, but he has no easy way to get rid of the Thick and Napalm. Top rune, Iron Shell's gonna prep up. It's gonna be a bounty rune only, so no big damage room. But Crit didn't actually boulder out. The SP's on his way in. It's a long charge back underneath the tier one tower, but it's already done. The Darkseer finds the extra kill. And Dubu will run away, so 2-2 two -two on the board. Hold that thing up, <laughs> MP. As has just more survival, top lane, nice touching from Fly, he catches the Dark Sea, mid surge for Rev, he will be dropping now, try to do enough damage to Fly to get a kill. The double iron shells were there, and Febby looking to soak up a little bit more with the extra attack on a Fly, he can't kill him, he can only harass him. Top room will begin. Febby will try and steal the one from Miracle, keep that bottle empty of possible, but Crit makes a bit more of a cover. They reveal him with a dust, and Febby's gonna drop. A little bit too predictable, the battle for the rune. Snacks up the jug immediately in the in the second phase. He's like one of the few safe laners that can actually deal with this charge. Oh, Spirit the breaker. sentry, they can trigger the dust. Secondary sentry being planted, but overcome QR. Big damage on the fly. Has to self disrupt, but that damage from Miracle with the Chrono Sphere just on the edge. They need to bring down one, but who are they going to get? QR is low, so is Fly. Who will be the first to fall? Devi is the return damage. They need Miracle as well. Miracle, no more one charges left with a tip of J. The damage is huge. You need a time look, and there it is. But there's still no follow up. Mom Till OG bringing the reinforcements, it's Moon joining the fight, the shark is there, no time walk for 3 seconds, and 3 seconds is too long, Miracle will get a double kill, 4 kills in total now for OG. Asking about it too, do you try and build damage on this faceless void, you're not just a oh. big controller, Febby said, uh, sentry ward to drop, there's no escape from this, perfect stun, and the bounty hunter will fall, and at least allows MP to back up before he gets killed. Going for the Vlads. In case they do win a team fight, they can get Roche and 5x to value. SP charging in on Miracle, QO, managed to dodge a lot of Miracle's ability for the charge in, but need the extra badges, MP will arrive through time dilation, causing real legit for Miracle, the extra damage from the wall, reactive armor, it's a lot of life but not enough. A level 3, Shuriken toss from Febby ends for hard to fight, it's a Vlad's build over on the, vo uh, over on the void, QO able to Phantom Strike away. Supports rotating down as Dubu and Forever. They're charging in now. No tell the primary target. He's still got Omni Slash available, but the charge will connect Dubu. Now bailing out as Miracle jumps up higher, looking for the kill on Dubu. Gonna find Forever there too. Remember, there is no mech yet up for MVP, so they don't want to have a full on team fight. But nice lead of Moon. This may be an easier target, but SB, he couldn't get himself out of the firefly. Miracle's still here. They get a dust over on Febby. Slow him down. Miracle tries to rip him up. Time dilation into a double chronosphere. Hold him there. QO can't really help out just yet, while the rest of OG, back three-man wall, Perez keeps them out, they need more damage, even just kill off him, even a couple of OG illusions to help them out, as Miracle still looks to clear, no tell, start to spin up, no mana for an Omni Slash, but it won't be, it won't matter, they have enough AoE damage, Fly getting ripped apart by still the Darkseer illusions, Bebby forced up north, there's a double kill and help a Miracle, again the bleeding starts, and Timbersaw's enjoying it, they go back through the wall, Dubu, charge on forward, hits all three, no tail into the spin, Chris Flo, Dubu with the nether strike, he's able to pick up the earth spirit for Rev once more, another iron shell, another surge, QO, do you really want to break this close, Miracle's gonna find himself a hate screw on the top river, Dubu with the bat, into a follow up charge for the Omni side, no tail, put the spirit breaker down, Febby's looking for more, but Miracle, he's just too quick, and healing ward, <laughs> yeah, unless it's bounty hunter at the very beginning, yeah, maybe face is that, run around, every time Baby's getting dusted up just like he is now in the bottom lane. Crit, there is a charge coming in from the Spirit Breaker. Baby needs to survive. In comes Dubu. Can he create the space? Nope, the Magnetizer already finished the job. Another back back.
back in again, but Miracle with a timber chain, he goes through Dubal and Perev, there is going to be enough damage to get another revenge kill here, Miracle just keeps going and going, Perev will drop as well, Miracle racking up 8 out of the 15 kills of OG. Chronosphere, well MVP, they scan under the uh, Dire T1 tower and the scan hit, and I don't know if they're expecting the smoke right now, but MVP are up that hill. OG are expecting it, because they have three observables to see all the initiation. The charge keeping no tail back, so we actually have a split by Grimwin in. But Nubu held everyone else out, but now Timber Chain, a back three-man wall! The shark comes out of position, they still need more damage. Only the Earth Spirit died so far for MVP, and MP time walks away, back away from the wall. Not a lot of mana for OG to really work with here. Q1! He goes in through the back line. Finds the Batrider, keeps the Cycling Dagger out. He's trying to pick the good fight, but Miracle still huge amounts of damage. Bevy has to play elusive, and in comes QO. Another crit. Fly will drop. He went for the aggressive disruption on QO to try and buy some space. Now a Snow Tail on the charge. Back, back in again. And MVP, they're finding huge kills. Fight like that, and they take Roche. They'll take down the uh, T1. Miracle, very far out. He does not have a lot of friends around here. Probably a lot of confidence as well. With that Desolator flying into QO, now for Rev back, charge, time dilation, they really want him, Fly still too far away, the Dark Field Wall will drop, Miracle's alive, Nubu a little bit deeper, Fly, not a healthy man, now the Omni Flash, on the MP and Nubu, but MP took the entire brunt of it, until then they move on to the Spirit Breaker, Febby on the retreat, they slow down Miracle with the Cycling Dagger, the kick flies forward, gonna miss QO. They stay on the high ground, but then q -word. the dust comes down from Moon, q -word drags back by the last two. He needs someone to jump to, but while he does, he doesn't have it. Bebby stays close enough, up on the high ground, Miracle forward, Shark comes up, fall down, he fights up the Phantom Assassin. Bebby's still on the run, the Miracle, he was looking for Perev. Bebby is away. OG, there's three OG players, just a stone throw behind him. And now OG actually leaving Miracle on the back lines. It's Moon to the front lines, they put a hit, they actually put the Gem of Truth right now over on him, and the jump, the jump on Crit, they're looking for a three-man kick, Crit by a career in the space, for Miracle to do some lucky with the last two, they hold MP there, he can't time walk away, he can't chrono, it makes a one-for-one -one trade off Debbie also, no way out, QO will TP, barely in the nick of time. Want a chrono, a solo Earth Spirit? He doesn't want a chrono spirit. The Timbers are who's out in front, but they don't have vision in the back. They can to contest, but Miracle's gonna break the smoke. He was waiting for this smoke maneuver, and he's the man who's probably the tankiest of all of OG. They come in and the wall. He got three on the clip. Derby will charge up with the Dark Sea and back. Derby wants fly, and he'll get him. That QO jumps up, trump battle up against Zertel. The Shadow from Miracle trying to help out his core. It won't be enough. QO finds another. Now the fans strike down. With the help of the bounty, they find that kill. Miracle, now time lock in the river. Chrono is still available. Time walk up, they could do it. Not really going that far apart from Bloodstone charges. And more he's importantly, no-tail. I say that when he's still so far in front of the network. But Miracle, now caught out in the tree line. The charge forward with a time lock. They need a hold, hold, and they bring him down. Huge amount of money, they move on the crit. QO's already got 890 gold and no-tail locked in. Krim wants to run away, but he gets fly! Fly as well! Triple kill for QO! Only flash it up! No tail will appear! Over there to MP, but another time lock! Another crit! And it's a hit for the faceless void! MVP! A huge fight for them! And this is a big one! Can't play like they want to. MVP are coming. Miracle is the only man for OG to protect this tier 3 tower. Quick time dilation! The Bastion! The time lock! Miracle! He gets the timber chain himself away, but Jubu charge forward! He's got the low lock protect the Q1 on the game of Bash! Three man wall! Fly as well! Bash up! Crit it up! Jubu will get the double kill! And now no buyback for both! The SD as well as the Timber. This could be a top racking at the moment. The only chance for a counter is no tell on the bottom lane to push that tier three, but he needs to come home. The Timber is up in 11 thanks to that Bloodstone. But MVP, they take down the melee rack. Like Mel to go with his Lotus Orb, so there's some a QO picked up. Moon found the initiation. Remember, QO still has an Agassi Mauler for Rev, trying to make a little bit of space. He's waiting for it. Let the Agassi Mauler trigger before he goes to the back wall combo. Miracle takes half the life of QO. 
A quick... Oh, no kill! Careful of the stifling dagger. We said he was fragile. One stifling dagger almost removes half of his life. Miracle, again the front line. That's getting a bash on the stifling dagger. The Chrono, they caught no tile on the back line. They're looking for the kill. Great, the charge from Doomu. Bypassing the Chrono. They're looking for the back support. The wall will split this fight up. Kuro was just so big. He's ripping apart the back line of OG. Moon will join him. No doubt trying to create some help. But the only side can practically nothing. They group up together. Now the ball is forward. MVP. Now they've gone a little bit too deep themselves. QO will drop almost a thousand gold for his death going the way of, of Frit. And Miracle, he's looking for the kill on Dubu as well. Swirling dead, timber chain. It looks almost too easy. Peter farm this. Ebby is just on the edge of it, but he's not triggering the scan. Oh, MP. Oh, he just jumped himself in. Can they find the kill in time? He's still got time walk available, but MP, no. Crit too good on the silence. The charge was coming forward, but MVP, do they really want to fight this? Crit, he bolted himself into four heroes. SC defensive destruction. Making it to MVP, can't find the kill and move on to the next one. It's Crit in the back line. It's the back into the wall again. Miracle is caught in the middle of the line, but it won't be a bad catch. So when Dubu splits the you <laughs> He fights the crest, and then they move to Miracle. They need the pass, they need the control. Lotus Orb helping Miracle for the moment. They stifling, he jumps back in again. There's your first pass. Where's your control? is gonna bring it. Another charge forward. Three down for OG, it might be four, but Miracle is just still so damn tanky. And Dubu has to be careful around that. They can find the other core. It's Moon, five flying himself over the hill. Kuo, bashing, striking from the high ground. Killing him off, Miracle still trying to salvage this fight somehow, but it's basically 9k on 5 at the moment. He'll load us all up, Timber Chain away, the Chakram damage, Dubu with low, chains up in one second time, now the bash and Miracle can't get away, QO again. <laughs> Side. It could have been an attempt for Roshan, but Roshan's not available yet. And fallen. they put Febby on the front lines. Now OG have picked up a new gem, but Febby already broke the smoke before he came in range of the gem. He is being carried on the Batrider. So Dubu, they just sent the tank forward. Closes him up. And a double stun for Red Corpsnat. The Chrono Speed of Flame Rick is pushing Dubu back out again, but the only time to find the kill. But where is Ebola? Miracle is controlled and moving the tree lines. QO and MP will follow him down. So the Fusible charge on for Rev means that Duggan can chase him into the tree line as well. But the Dark Seal wall. Makes it very, very difficult to fight. As they play ring a ring a rosy, MP comes back in and no tell. Isolated around MVP. We're all in a few fights with Bounty Hunter. Good enough. And that just shows how far MVP are ahead. In their their teamwork is really phenomenal, though, with a lineup that's extremely difficult to execute. Uh, the kick, nice on QO. They need to keep him control. The BKB helped him break three. Well, MP. <laughs> There goes SC down again. They move over to Crit. Debbie's back is over on the side. Maybe Crit. Where's your damage? Where is your escape? MP still under the cover of the BKB. We'll move forward over towards Moon, keeping the Batrider out this game. And in fact, a three man wall. The Sun, no time being pushed through it through. He'll drop. Miracle. He just needs to do some damage, but he can't finish QO. QO will jump up. He'll kill Fly all over again. And GG. The game is over. MVP in a 70 kill, 39 minute game. Take game number one in this best of three quarterfinal. MVP played like refined cavemen that game. <laughs> I like their self described philosophy on how to approach the game. And these cavemen knew how, like, learned how to use fire.